So for this week's assignment, you're probably going to have multiple files. Uh, that would be an HTML file for the document itself and then a file for each of the pieces of art or photography that you have um, in your HTML document uh, that you're using image source equals. Now you have to send all of those to me so that I can see your page as you intended it. The digital Dropbox won't let you send multiple files at the same time. So here's the way we take care of that. First of all, I'm going to click here to make sure I'm working in my web publishing folder that I set up. I'm going to go over to File, New Folder, and I'm going to name this folder. This is my AW, that's me, Week 2 Project. Okay. That's a name that's going to work. Notice there's no spaces, no punctuation other than the underscores. And I'm going to drag my three files in here. Alright, so now I have all the files in one folder, but I can't yet send it. I have to first of all compress it before I can send it, and that'll make it into a single uh, file, called sometimes called an archive. So on the Mac, the way to do this is either to hold down the control key or to right click with the mouse to get this menu. Create archive or it may say, depending on the operating system, it may say compress AW Week 2 project. So we want to compress it or create an archive. So let's do that. Boom. There we go. Now we have a single file. It's called a zip file. You notice the dot zip. And that's got all three of the other ones that are in here compressed into a single file. This can be sent uh, via the digital Dropbox just like any other single file. And uh, this is the way to make this work. Again, be sure to give it a name that's going to make sense when I see it. Use your, your name or your initials, week two uh, project, so that when it comes in via the Dropbox, I know whose it is and I know what it is. Now, that takes care of it on the Mac side. On the PC side, I'm going to check into that. Uh, if you're using a PC and you don't know how to archive or compress a, f a folder, uh, you can simply Google it. I'm pretty sure that you right-click it and it works uh, via a submenu in the similar way to what we just saw. All right, that should take care of it.